Hey, Leo, how are you? Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys being here. Leo, this is going to be your read for a brand new series that I'm introducing to the channel called Separation Station. Separation Station is going to focus on reconciliation, love, and any separation right now that you and your partner or you and the one that you feel is the one for you are experiencing right now. Okay, so what I will do is we will examine your energy, their energy, and we're going to take a look and see if the cards say if there's any um, hope for reconciliation here in the future. If that's what you're looking for. Or cross watchers here may be watching for Leo as well. If that's what you're looking for, let's see. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and cross watcher. If this doesn't resonate for you, then it's not for you. But please make sure you watch your other signs. There may be messages there. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. Spirit, please give us positive messages for Leo. For love and reconciliation. So the first card that we have to pop up here is reconciliation. Okay. And on the other side, they have, they have children. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so Leo, you have or... One side of the equation here is reconciliation, the actual reconciliation card, where it says someone from your past is returning to your life. And then on their side, they have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So, like, immediately I'm getting flooded with, like, a lot of information. I do feel as though, Leo, one of you, um, as, this, as the separation stands right now, one of you definitely feels as though uh, you do want to reconnect with this person. You definitely want to build back up to where you were, build a certain level of trust back or build or just uh, whatever the is happening in the now or in the void of now. I do feel as though you want to make it better, immediately better. Um, on the other side of that, though, I do feel like the other person or or you possibly, Leo, could be dealing also with children. So there could be children here in the matter. Um, there could be maybe... Uh, could be the children that you share together or it could be someone's children from a previous um you know from a previous partner um but at some point children do fall here in the mix for them in the decisions that they have to make right while they're in this separation now also, I do feel as though for a lot of you, this could be directly uh, about maybe for some of you or for someone, they possibly, while in the middle of your relationship, they may have possibly have uh, reconciled with someone from their past. Maybe someone that they have children with, or they may have had children with someone from your past while y'all were still together, and that's why... Um, you guys are in separation right now, okay? So, yeah, again, there was a, a lot of information that just came to me immediately, okay? So apply that however that fits to you. Let's take a look and see what the tarot has to say. What does the tarot have to add for Leo in their person or their cross watcher? That wasn't a pretty sound. <laughs> okay, Leo. What messages do we have for Leo and their person? Okay, wow. <laughs> Okay, funny. Okay, so, well, not funny, but it's just that it all came. So, anyway, so immediately what I do feel as though the temperance card and the two of wands. Um, so, I do feel like, yeah, uh, for a lot of you, there could be um, where you actually were either in this relationship, just kind of going with the flow of things, really just trying to keep yourself balanced within this relationship while things were either becoming the mess that they are right now or while things were... Um, or while it's already, you know, you're in separation mode at the top of this, you know. So it's like I feel as though you have been very, very balanced about this. Um, you've been very, very calm uh, for the most part, maybe calmer than anyone would expect you to be. 
<laughs> um, but I do feel like you've you've been really trying to balance yourself here. Um, you 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 know you understand that yes, it definitely is a very very serious situation that you're having to deal with. Um, but I do feel like you're really taking it in stride and you're really not showing too much um, movement as far as, you know, being super duper like depressed or like, you know, super duper uh, impulsive or anything as, as such, you know, or, you know, you, you're not doing like what normally people, you're not reacting the way people would expect you to react here during this separation. I feel like you're very, very, you're being very calm now on their side or on the other side, I do feel like they are in the position where they're kind they really have a choice to make. Like they have a fork in the road here with the two of wands. Like I feel as though they could really patch things up here with you or they have an opportunity with someone else or with something else, or there is something else that is drawing their attention as well, their interest. So they're really at a crossroads. They're really at an empath. Um, you know, they're really at this moment right now where, um, and you may or may not know this, they may, may or may not have expressed this to you, Leo, but, uh, one person is, yes, yeah, so one person is trying to remain very, very balanced here while the other person is at the moment right now where they're really on the brink of really making a decision and really trying and really deciding if, you know, they want to put more effort into what they've already done or if they want to branch off into something new or into some other opportunity that's attractive to them. Now, under the temperance card, I do have the queen of swords. So I do feel like right now, Leo, um, I feel like you're done being patient. I feel like you're very, very done with being, you know, the patient one. You're done waiting. Um, I really feel like you are beginning to really um, act from logic right now. Um you know, you're going to start doing the things that are best for you so that you don't have such a broken heart. You know, um, you're like taking power here in this situation where you're like, I'm not going to be whoops. You're like, I'm not going to be <laughs> waiting and just waiting and waiting. Um, yes, I can. But, you know, because I want to reconcile, I do. But I don't necessarily feel as though that by waiting, that's the best thing for me to do, especially if you can't make up your mind about what it is that you want to do. Am I not that important enough? So by you, I feel like right now you're at the point where you could really possibly flip that switch to be like, you know, forget reconciliation. I don't need it. And once they sense that energy, though, I feel like they get the judgment card. And so then it's like the pressure is really, really on for them. You know, they I really feel like at that moment is where they feel or where they see what's really at stake here. OK, now at this moment, I don't feel like the choice is still made for them. I, I mean, I don't feel like anybody has come to a choice yet. I will definitely pull some more cards. Um, but I just as it stands right now, Leo, yeah, you're not willing to be patient anymore about this. You really want to speak your mind. You really want to go off if they would just, you know, return your calls or or, you know, really give you something uh, to go off of, you know, when you do speak. But um, you're at the moment right now where you're just like, you know what, I don't need the reconciliation if if I got to sit here and sit here and, and, you know, babysit you while you decide what you want to do. Oh, man, but they're going to come around or they're beginning to come around to see now, like what's really at stake. Like they're really sizing things up here now with the uh, judgment card, definitely under the two of swords or excuse me, the two of wands. They're definitely sizing things up. They're sizing up their options here in this matter. So you got the lover's card and then. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, so I really feel like with the lover's card, Leo, um, the potential for the way things, are, like the way I see things lining up for you, Leo, or at least for the person on this side is, I feel as though um, with the lover's card here, I feel as though that choice is definitely be carried out. So it's almost as like, you know, they were patient, patient, patient. They were so extra patient. And then they started feeling like, okay, you know what? I can't be patient here anymore. Something has to do. I have to do something. I have to, um, you know, and it's not like out of state of panic. It's more so just out of the state of like they're wisening up to what they know that is supposed to be right for them or what they feel is supposed to be right for them. So 
that Queen of Swords definitely is thinking about taking action here. And she is ready to take action. And then with the Lover's card, I definitely feel like with the Lover's card, um, I still feel like, Leo, I still feel like you're on the brink of this, of just, you're on the brink of feeling like you're ready to cut it off. Or you're feeling like you're on the brink um, or just be ready to just say, you know what, you know, I don't, I'm, you know, this space has to like, something has to give. But even still in the future, it's like you still may go back and forth a little bit with being patient versus okay, I'll give you, you know, till this, this, and this, and you start giving ultimatums. But of course, the reason why is because they're having, they're showing the Prince of Wands. So that means that y'all are still dibbling and dabbling in this separation. And that's why you can't keep a clear head. That's why you still want reconciliation, even after you know that being patient is, I don't want to say it's the stupid thing to do because, you know, you're doing what you feel is right, but, you know, I'm just telling you where this is leading you. You're going to be feeling as though, like, you're ready to take course, like, you're ready to end it. You're ready to say, you know, just, as I feel like the queen, I always feel like this is like the red queen, like, and she's like off with your head, right? Because she's protecting her own neck because she doesn't want to have to deal with any heartache and any, you know what I mean? And that's all that the patient is, all that being patient is getting you right now is heartbreak. So with the lover's card, I just feel like in the future, you're still going to be faced with this choice. You're probably going to be faced with this choice for maybe the next few months. Maybe I don't even feel like this will even really resolve in January because with the Prince of Wands being here right under the judgment card and the two of swords, I feel like this person is just, you know... They know that they have options. They know that they have a choice between something and something else. And because even through sizing everything up and trying to, um, even through like sizing everything up, like they still are going back and forth with the Prince of Wands. They're spending a little bit of time there with you, spend a little bit of time there with somebody else and giving you false hope. So what's your... So what's your best advice moving forward here for Leo and their person? Please let us know what's the best advice moving forward for Leo. The maiden, a new relationship blossoms. <laughs> Yeah, it better, right? After you have to be all patient and deal with somebody else's indecision or someone else's blatant, actually, de their decision to really actually go back and forth because they're not ready for a relationship or they're not ready to stay in a relationship. They're feeling like they got options. So guess what, Leo? You got some options opening up for you as well. Then the next card to fall out for your cross watcher is the Griffin, honor and good luck. So it definitely looks as though things might be looking up for them as well. Um, I really feel like, of course, you know, it's looking up for them. They're seeing the bright side of things, especially if you're giving them what they want. And, you know, at the same time, they're able to still get what they want from, you know, other parties or from other areas of their life. <sighs> I do feel like they possibly could be spending a lot more time with their children and that's hopefully, you know, where, you know, they kind of are splitting their lives between and not necessarily someone, but possibly could be, you know, children. Could be outside children that, again, that you don't know about, but of course, you know, apply that to however it fits for you. But in both scenarios, I just feel as though for both people or for both parties, um, you know, there is a new relationship that actually is blossoming. Um, maybe someone that you meet, maybe that's the choice that you end up having to make here with the lovers is you could be meeting someone that's um, making you actually say, you know what, I do have other options as well that I can ch look at, not just you, you know. 
and then for them, of course, I mean, they never really wanted, they never were really acting as though they were single, or rather acting as though they were in a relationship. So it could possibly be that, you know, they're ready to go that way as well. Off to some other new adventure, maybe spending more, like I said, more time with their kids. Maybe they're taking on more responsibility with their kids, though, with the judgment card, I possibly feel as though. So... I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go with that. Yeah, but I don't feel like there's any uh, reconciliation here, even though you do want it to be. If there is any reconciliation, it's it's false. It's because they're coming back and forth in and out to you, messing up your head. But you definitely have something else, maybe something possibly even better with this rose here. I feel like you have something like even better to look forward to. It's good. It's a good reading. All right, Leo, I'm going to let you go. Yeah, let me know how this works in the comment box below. Um, I do appreciate your likes, your comments, your shares, and also your subscribes. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, make sure you catch me live Wednesdays at 9 p.m. where we go live for singles. I go all signs for singles. We do face-to-face. -face, so we talk about, you know, what is on the horizon for, you know, the next person coming for you or you coming for that person or, you know, what that both of you are dealing with while you're finding your way to each other or just anything else that's going on that you may be focused on, Leo. Uh, Le uh, Leo. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, that's Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. It's a lot of fun. Also, check me out Thursday nights at 9 p.m. where I go live uh, for the upcoming messages for the weekend. Again, it's face-to-face, -face, very interactive, and very fun. I appreciate you guys' time. You can book a personal reading with me if you'd like. Just email me at luminantlibratero at gmail.com. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.